Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kimmel Bay Church's Bible vlog for today. And if you want to follow us through, we're in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 23, and just a couple of verses, verses 23 and 24. And it says this. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. Oh, bit harsh. You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill and cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law, justice, mercy and faithfulness. You should have practised the latter without neglecting the former. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat but swallow a camel. OK, so this morning we're talking about gnats and camels. You strain out a gnat but swallow a a camel. What on earth is Jesus talking about? Well, I think here he's talking about priorities. The Pharisees had, had, had were concentrating on the minutiae of the law, the tenth of the not just given a tenth of your harvest, but a tenth of your um, of, of of your spices too. They're being very precise, very particular, but they'd got the priorities wrong. They were concentrating on these small matters of the law. Inst but they were neglecting justice, mercy and faithfulness, justice, mercy and faithfulness. So what is Jesus doing here in, in talking about gnats and camels? OK, so here we've got a picture. It's obviously a picture because you can't swallow a camel, not the camels I've seen anyway. So he's talking, he's using picture language, but he's also doing something else. We'll get onto the picture in a minute. But he's also using wordplay. Now, I have never seen this before, and I've never seen this before because you have to go to the Aramaic, and I don't know Aramaic. But in the Aramaic, the word camel and gnat look very similar when you write them down. So camel is spelt G-A-M-A-L, G-A-M-A-L, gamel, and gnat is spelt G-A-L-M-A. So it's very close. So Jesus is using a word play here. He's using a gnat and a camel. He's using the words that are very close to one another, just to sort of as a, as a, as a, as a literary genius. <laughs> and then the second thing is he's using size, isn't he? A gnat, very small, and a camel, very big. But why would you want to strain out a gnat? Well, commentators say that because some of the religious uh, Pharisees they wanted to concentrate on the minutiae of the law. Uh, they got um, hung up on the fact that they, they, they couldn't eat a gnat because a gnat is unclean. And so just in case in a, in a, in a drink of water, a gnat had landed, a fly had landed in, in, in the water, um, they would take their water and they would put it through a sieve. They would filter it through a cloth so that the, the unclean animal, the gnat, would be strained out and then they wouldn't break the law. They would be clean in the eyes of God. That's what they were thinking. But they were so concentrated on these little things, these nitpicky things. They lost sight of the bigger picture. They lost sight of justice, mercy and faithfulness. Jesus doesn't actually condemn following the law in relation to uh, Le Levitical laws for the Jews. He says that you want to do that, but don't forget the bigger picture, too. Earlier on in Matthew's gospel, we get this idea of um, God looking at the heart, but man looking at the outside. And we're, we're so obsessed sometimes with, with what people think of us and what people see. And Jesus in Matthew's gospel, uh, the Sermon on the Mount, talks about praying, doing it in private, not, not in public um, not that you shouldn't pray in public, but not do it in a showy way. So people think, wow, look how they pray. Um, that when we fast, we should do it privately and we should do it behind the scenes and not not showing people. Oh, I'm so religious. I've, I've fasted today. Um, God looks at the heart. God looks at the um, the bigger thing is the heart of what's really going on. The little thing, the gnat is the outward sign, the outward appearance. And, and so Jesus is saying to the, the religious leaders, and he's saying to us too, is, have you got your priorities right? Have you got your priorities right? Are you legalistic? Are you straining out a gnat? 
Because if you're not careful, you'll end up swallowing your camel. You'll end up missing the big picture of justice, mercy and faithfulness. So Jesus's message is very simple. He uses exaggeration to make a point. He uses wordplay to make a point. And his point is this. Have we got our priorities right? Are we spending our time on the right things? Because let's remember that God looks at the heart, but man tends to look at the outside of things. Let's do those things that honour God in our hearts. Amen. Have a good day, everybody. God bless you. Take care.